It's more than a linear path. It's a prism of infinite possibilities. Where each choice branches out into infinite realities of endless possibilities. I am Whisper, the sole observer of your entire multiverse, and I will be your guide to these vast, infinite new realities. Now, follow me as we come to ponder the question, what if? Our universe contains many mysteries and wonders, but the multiverse contains all kinds of mysteries and wonders. But black holes, however, contain a much bigger mystery. No one knows what happens if you get sucked into a black hole. Either every single fiber of you is destroyed into nothing, or their connection point between universes. Okay, and what exactly does that have to do with why exactly we're in this world? Well, Amiko. See, we are telling a story. I'm here to tell you the story of one Son Goku. Son Goku, the Saiyan raised on Earth, and warrior pure of heart. You've known him as the savior of Earth many times over. A loyal friend, a loving husband, and a caring father. But before Goku, he was Kakarot. His father Bardock, the brilliant Saiyan warrior, gained a foresight f ability where he saw th the eradication of the Saiyan race at the hands of Emperor that the Emperor of the Universe, Frieza. Already seen the Emperor's betrayal by a mile, so his parents sent him away for his own safety. In your reality, Bardock led a one-man assault against the Emperor of the Universe, and final ditch effort to save his entire race, fighting till his final breath. But in this reality, Frieza's judgment on the Saiyan race came sooner than Bardock ex expected. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. The force of plan for Gia's destruction sent Kakarot's po space pod off its course to Earth. Until it stumbled upon- Gulp. That's bad. <laughs> and that, that is Princess Rosalina. The Watcher of the Cosmos and the, and the Guardian of the Lumas. Like fifth dimensional beings like me. Knows all, sees all, but will not, shall not, interfere. Don't you think it seems kind of boring to just watch these cosmos all day? Well, Elder Luma, it can be fun sometimes. Most of the time it's boring. But I do more than that. Like looking after the Lumas, and also reading. <laughs> Woof! It's a child. Well, it looks like a human. Well, almost. Ow! <laughs> and such rude manners. Well, according to to my journals, it, it appears that that 
that child is something is a part of a race called Saiyans. But I thought but I thought those beings went extinct centuries ago. Well according to my journals, it appears that this that he might not originate from this reality. Like like the multiverse? Well yes. His pod did came from a black hole after all. Poor thing probably got sh got sucked into it and got stranded here. Man, you sure do have a lot of knowledge. I do more than just look over the cosmos every day, Elder Luma. Hey there, little guy. How about I read you a story? Mm. Huh? Nah! -uh. You know, you almost remind me of someone of myself. Mm? I know you definitely must might be very lost right now. Well, I was exactly like you once. You know, when I was little, one day I found a rusty spaceship carrying a, a small star child. He told me his name was Luma and he was waiting for his mother who was said to be arriving on, on a comet and he got lost. So the two of us went on a journey throughout the cosmos looking for the comet and the Luma's mom. But we eventually went to the comet and we didn't find Luma's mom. And soon enough, we found another Luma. And then two became many, and after many events later, I then found a family in the Lumas. And I then became their mother. Hmm. But anyways, do you have a name, little one? K Kakarot. Well then, let's get you to bed. Sweet dreams. What the Princess Rosalina? You you're not considering keeping that thing around. He's just a lost child. I can't just leave him out there in the vastness of space to grow lonely and I want to help him find his home and bring him back to his family. Um, Rosalina the journal. His world was destroyed. That... That poor kid. <laughs> well, if he doesn't have his family anymore, then... Then I'll become his family. We'll all become his family. I'll raise him to be as big and strong. Maybe when he is strong enough, and maybe then he can bring down that monster that destroyed his home. And... And his family. I promise I will take care of you and raise you right. I promise, Kakarot. Congratulations on that mission to eradicate the planet Vegeta in the same race. Yes, indeed, Dodoya. Though it is quite sad that I miss those Saiyan monkeys, but, but at least I don't have to worry about them one day overthrowing me, of course. Yes, you know that Prince Vegeta and Nappa's team were off of Planet Vegeta during its destruction, right? Yeah, I'd probably just tell them that it was destroyed by a meteor, of course. Um, Lord, Lord Frieza? <sighs> Koi, Genya, what even is it? Can't you see I'm reveling in my recent victory? Which was entirely my plan. <sighs> Well, under the approval of of the god destruction, Beerus, of course. But he also wanted to eradicate the Saiyans too, and and I, since I was going to do it, I basically did his job for him. Well, apparently your brother was also there at the Planet Vegeta's destruction, and he was able to. And what exactly was Cooler doing at at the site of the destruction of Planet Vegeta? Was he there to? Was he? Is he pulling a prank on me? Of course. I'm, I'm no sir, like, he wasn't going to tell you this, but he spotted, like, a Saiyan pod, like, leaving Planet Vegeta right before its destruction, and it somehow ended up into a black hole. A black hole, you said? I thought those were rare. Well, yes, but uh, suddenly one appeared nearby Planet Vegeta. Well, I did heard that black holes are quite mysterious. They could probably take you to different universes. <laughs> Different realities, you say? Well, that's what I theorized, of course. Berry Blue, refill my tea. 
I gotta go call the pilot to be so he could take us to this black hole. Um, actually, Plum already told the pilot about everything, Lord Frieza. Well, never mind then. You know, Koi, when you see Plum again, I want you to tell him that he's demoted. Well, well why, Lord Frieza? Because he is supposed to tell me b the beforehand that he already told the pilot. Or better yet, tell him that he is the test subject for the black hole. To tell him to go into the black hole and see exactly w what happens, okay? I was actually going to have him fired anyway. Mm, yep, that is a black hole. Well, Plum, you know exactly what to do. Um, Lord Freezer, are you sure this is safe for me to go and, and explore the black hole? Just go already! Okay, Lord Frieza, my ship is approaching the black hole right now, and ah, ah, and then drag me in. Ah, ah, well, whatever happened to him, it probably happened to that that little straggler that escaped Planet Vegeta, or unless someone here is willing to confess that this was this was just some kind of prank. Um, uh, yeah, yes, Lord Frieza, this was all some sort of prank. Is that right, Koi? Like, we, like, we, like, we figured out, thought of it ourselves. Um, yes, yes, Lord Frieza, this was indeed a, a, a prank. Yeah. Hm, that's what I thought. Tell the pilot to go and pick up Prince Vegeta and Nappa's team. Oh, don't worry, Lord Frieza. Peach has already told the pilot to take us to v Nappa and Prince Vegeta's team location. What? Another one of my foot soldiers giving orders without my knowledge? T Tell Peach he's going to the black hole. Well, 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 but sir, we already threw Plum into the black hole. I said put Peach into the black hole now! And so the story of young Kakarot continues. Rosalina has sent young Kakarot to the Good Egg Galaxy so he could begin his training. Wow. Wow, that moon is so cool. Uh, huh? What happened? Oh, thank goodness you're awake. You had a pretty rough fall, and I was really worried about you, Kakarot. Huh? Wait, where's my tail? Oh, about that, you kind of lost it when you fell. I'll make sure to send you to the Honey Hive Galaxy, so that way you can begin your training there. I'm okay. Uh, Miss Rosalia, don't you think you shouldn't sugarcoat it and, like, actually tell him the truth? It's probably best that he doesn't know. Especially let him know the damage that he's caused. Power pole extend. Oh. <laughs> well played, there, little one. Right. Wow, I'm actually quite surprised that this planet is so peaceful and everything. For like over a decade that I've been here training, like, I've noticed how peaceful it's been. Probably because I've beaten that just that evil space buff beetle like some time ago. And we are thankful for you for that. Just because it's peaceful doesn't mean that the bees of this planet aren't always on guard. And by sensing your power, you have gone a long way since you first came to this planet. 800 is quite high of a power level, especially for us B standards. 
I'm only doing this so that that Rosalina can achieve this so-called destiny for me. As I'm destined to go back to my universe and destroy the tyrant that killed my entire race and family and avenge my home. Like I believe I serve a purpose in this in this world. And you and you do. See all the bees here? They all have their purpose in life. They all have something that they care for. Their own motives. And each of them believe that they could be destined for greatness. They always remember to look out for others and care for people that cannot protect themselves. That there is the Honey Queen way. Tuh! Mother! She, she's in trouble! Wait, where are you going? Home! Wait, come back! There's still more that you need to know! Duh! Mm. <laughs> now then, Princess Rosalina, you probably know exactly why we're here. Um, no sir, I don't know exactly why we're here. <sighs> we're here to get the star power! The power star! The source of the power- the power source of this sh of this comet observatory! And why would a cruel evil person like you want anything to do with me? Well, you see, I am going to conquer my entire planet. And I'm going to use the power source of your ship to conquer the galaxy, and then the universe, and marry my dear fiance, Princess Peach. Only then will she gladly take my hand in marriage. Well, while she says no, Now you're going to give me exactly what I want. Who else what? Well, you do care for these Lumas like your own children now, do you? <laughs> Stop hurting him! Then you're going to give me exactly what I want. Don't do it, Princess Rosalina. Don't give him exactly what he wants. Tick tock, your highness. Tick. What? Ta! 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 Hmm, what is the meaning of this now? Kakarot, you, you've returned! You leave my mother alone! Ha ha ha! Oh my, how rude of me to not know that you actually have a kid! He's adopted, more or less. Adopted? Hmm. Then I'll gladly do the honors of destroying your home right in front of you. <laughs> uh, power pole? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 What the? You puny little Luma! The Elder Luma? The Elder Luma, speak to me! Perhaps I was wrong about you, kid. Perhaps Rosalino's right. Seems that you do have potential. Elder Luma? No. No, speak to me! Elder Luma! No! What the? What is the meaning of this now? What the? Seems that 
that seeing that old star die, it somehow triggered something in him. His power level is rising. Is that the legendary Super Saiyan? You're going to pay for that, and I will make you. So what? You think that changing your hair color is going to beat me? <laughs> Kakarot, before you end up doing what you're about to do, if you're really still in there, but do you think that Elder Luma would want this? I'm sorry, I don't know what I... what got into me there. Fine, you win. Keep your power star. Boys, let's pack it up. We're leaving. Guess we're going to have to try another plan to beat Mario. Huh? Whoa, that's a Comet Observatory. Just like this one. I guess Elder Luma in his dying wish turned himself into another Comet Observatory just for you, Kakarot. So he's always with you. And so many years later, Kakarot would grow into a young man, ready to fulfill his destiny. So it's finally time for you to return to your universe, Kakarot. Yes, this has been exactly what my entire life has been building up to. And I wish to, before I head back to my universe, I want to thank you for help raising me. If it wasn't for your kindness, I probably wouldn't be alive today. Hmm. You're welcome, my son. To be or not to be, that is the question. Rather, it is nobler in the mind to suffer. Ugh, this is boring. When can we start throwing rotted cabbages at him? A uh, Lord Freezer, it appears that an unidentified um, spaceship is hanging straight is hanging to our direction. What? What the heck is the meaning of this? Zarbon, quit performing and get over here! <clears throat> huh? Huh? What the? Kakarot? What the? Another Saiyan monkey? What is the meaning of this? Speak your name now! I am the Saiyan that flew, that fell into a black hole, ending up in a different universe. Raised to avenge the Saiyan race from you. Black hole? Wait, you guys told me it was a prank! Well, I'm not, that, that, that's what, what I thought, of course. Hm, I'm guessing you're here to challenge my throne, perhaps. Ta! Ta? Ta? Cat B! G Vegeta, what is the scouter saying about his power level? It's... 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 Unbelievable! Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, you were the one who destroyed Planet Vegeta? I was told that it was a meteor! I absolutely knew it! Wait, that's Kakarot? It seems I took a lot from Father. So the legendary Super Saiyan wasn't a legend! Huh, I see now. So the legends were true. It seems my paranoia was right. 
Perhaps all Saiyan monkeys should be wiped to the face of existence. Huh? Kame ha me ha. Did it! Mother, if only you were here to see this. I sure you'd be proud of me. And just like in every universe, Frieza's actions would come back to bite him, as the legend of the legendary Super Saiyan would soon be his downfall in every universe. Wow, that's quite cool, I'd say. Now come with me. We have more worlds to show. Right. More stories to be told across the multiverse.